<laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. G'day folks, this is the Coffee Bush Kid in Central Vic. Well, I'm out on an old house site. Some of you might remember it. Um, where I took on Liam from over in Western Australia. And anyway, you can see this bit of a stone wall down here. So the old house, well you can see the embankment there where it's been built, so the house was here. And I got in amongst all the noises, because there's just, like I'm down on the six inch as per usual, but now that I go to ask for it, there's just signals everywhere. But anyway, I've got one like that. I've just turned the clod, so you're a bit late, sorry about that. There we go. That's a, um, a half penny, but I don't think it's a roux. Mind you, I could be wrong. I can't even pick who that is. I think we need to clean it up. I'll be back in a tick. There we go. We can see who that is. That's a Vicky Young Bun. Vicky Young Bun half penny from 1861. How cool is that? It's been a while since I've got a old Vicky half penny. She's looking all right if it wasn't for all the corrosion. Anyway, right, we'll put that in the old sky rocket. We'll see what else we can sniff out of the ground. Trashy home site. I could explain this to you till I'm blue in the face, but just have a listen and a look at this. So, you know, you can hear all the signals, everything like that. But the one I'm interested in Sort of vanishes about there. That's it. Just in there. And then it's not there. So, we're going to have a go at that. It says it's not deep. It might be a big piece of steel. Nearly by the way that the whole ground's moving, it, it would suggest that. But it's just an interesting piece. Well, actually, there you go. It was actually the edge. We just clipped the edge of some gal. Zinc or leady stuff or whatever. But I thought I could have been riding a winner. But that's the type of thing that you're up against in a trashy, trashy house site. But then I did get a silver ring out of here. So anyway, we will keep going. Look at how brittle this stuff is. Gives a good signal, all that. Anyway, we'll keep going. Let's try this one. Don't know what we're going to get. You can sort of go around and... There's this sound. Just when you do little movements. you got to pinpoint it again. There. Wait, and that's about where it is. Let's dig it and we'll see what it is. Could just be steel. Could be a coin. Yes, I just saw it. Look at that. Look at that. That's a medallion. Oh, here it is. Oh, that would be something from World War I. Oh, that's awesome. Let's clean it up and we'll find out what we've actually got. Now this is pretty cool. 
That's an Australian soldier with a slouch hat on. I don't know what it says up the top. I can't read it. It's too far gone. However, when we turn it over and we zoom in, look at that. That's bloody brilliant, that is. EDV, Education Department of Victoria, I would say. It says in the middle part, Gallipoli, France, Palestine. And then we can just make out down the bottom here, Anzac Day, 1918. How cool is that? Well, I'll film this, so sorry for any wind noise. See that? That's a peppercorn tree. You know how drawn to these things I am. And then... That's... It was more 22, 21, 23 ish. But that's the signal that I'm, I'm looking for. And we are right amidst the branches and the root and everything of the of the uh, peppercorn tree. Yes, yeah, so I told you it was a 21-22. What have we got? What have we got? Can we see anything? No. Pinpoint of time. It's in that. What's it going to be? Oh, is that going to be sort of like serpent size? What's that? Oh no. It's a bloody rivet. Geez, they get you going, don't they? Well, we've got this nice signal. That's it. Was it's a row and beautiful 21 22 signal. Yep, rivets again. But this is a classic example of what they were used for. See the pieces of leather, got three there, so you can see how good a target I was getting. They go through in the little row, which is the copper washer, goes over the rivet. The rivet gets peened over so at the end mushrooms and holds it all together. They can be a really, really good uh, good bond, you know. They don't move that much. But there we go. A rove and a rivet doing their job. Oh, you little bugger. You <laughs> little bugger. It's not a silvery, it's a coppery. At the end of a rivet. <laughs> they give a good signal, you can't leave them in the ground. Rotters. Chop off a rivet. Gives a thumping signal, but you can't leave him. That's got to be something good. Couldn't be anything bad. Probably a penny, but I wouldn't mind something silver. See how we go. Oh, there it was. It was a big thing. Look at that. It's good in the sun. We gotta go. I'm gonna tick. There's the house site behind me and the peppercorn tree and I've come up here, you can see this pile of stones that I think might have been a stable or something of the like. And uh, in here, though there's still sort of signals all around everywhere. I got that. Uh, I've been pestered, as you know, by roads and bloody rivets. Will it be another one? Take them 
down in there. I split it open and we found that. Look at that. That will be, there's Vicky. And I think, oh, if I am looking right, she has either a veil or a crown on there. So that will be, actually we should get the squirty onto that. We'll clean it up, I'll be back with you in a tick. Oh, I tell you what, we are lucky. Oh, must have already, already been in. Um, that is a Jubilee head. We can just, just sort of see. And I can tell you that it is because somewhere on here, there it is, right there, 89. So, yep, that's a Jubilee head Vicky Thrippence. How cool is that? I may have done it again. There's where I got my 1889 Thrippence. And just in here I was getting a, a uh, 2122 signal. Much like that one. Now, I have seen it. I'm hoping, like anything, it's not a bloody row. Oh, is it? No. No, it's not a row. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. This is good. Yep. She is another coin. Yep. That looks like it could be a veil head. We'll have another clean. We'll find out what we've got. We are back after a bit of a clean up and there we are. That's her veil head. And I got the magnifying glass out to have a look and I can just, I don't know whether we can do it in the light. Yep, there you go. See that? Double zero. So it's 1900. A 1900 thrippence. So, for this afternoon, we've been very, very lucky. We've got a young bun on a half penny. We got uh, an 1889 thrippence with her Jubilee head. And this is a 1900 one with her veil head. As Dawn would say, the head that she died with. So, uh, yeah. Very good. The day's pretty good. Gotta love a good thrippence magnet on the end of your Equinox 800. <laughs> we'll see what happens now. There's the ute, Rolf. Probably the last signal. We got this. Oh, if I turn it that way, you'll know what it is. It's a padlock. A little padlock. And there is actually the innards of it. As much as we can see sort of in the sunlight what's left covered it all over swung the detector as you should and look at this i found the front but what's cool is that the keyhole cover plate has something written on it so i'll take that home probably and try and find out what it says and maybe find out who the maker is but we might not be able to, but we'll see how we go. My apologies, it's late. I'm supposed to be heading towards the ute to head home. I got a signal, there was, oh, there was 29, there was 30, there was 31, and then there was a 39. You just go, ah, oh, it's a piece of bloody steel. But in actual fact, you see it? does look coppery. Oh, no, two cents are higher than that. Uh, lower than that. We'll have to clean that up and find out what it is. I don't have the foggiest idea. It's green, so it's not looking like silver. 
But it could be, but who knows? There's some interesting maybe stuff on there. Anyway, we'll clean it up and we'll find out. Okay, we are back. Can you all see that? That's Britannia. I don't know whether there's a date there. There's the other side. The sense in me says, oh, that'll be Vicky. But I'm just half wondering whether that's bloody George III. I think what I've got is a farthing. And if I have, it's only my third. But that is very cool. That's when we're going to have to find out more about when we get home. Just like the uh, Anzac medallion that we got. This has been a nice little afternoon's hunt, but really that looks, yeah, you know, it might be William the Fourth. Who knows? But it's facing the wrong way for Vicky, so I really don't know what I've got. Be interesting to find out. It's the beauty of the hobby. I get to have one hunt in the field, and then I get to have another hunt on the internet. Pretty brilliant. Well, I'm now just above where I got some. Vicky Silver last time. And I got a beautiful little, oh, sort of 21, 22, 23 signal. I've got my new tiger digger there. One that, we, that uh, Jono made for me. And what else should I get with it? But, oh, yes. Some wild silver. Look at that in the rays of the afternoon sun. Oh, there's an Eddie! You ripper! All right, let's clean that up and we'll see what see what date he is. Well, there we are. We've got him sitting on the knee there. That's a pretty bloody good um, portrait of him. Look at that. See his beard and everything. You can tell that he's George's dad. It's Buddy Ripper. And what date? What date? Yep, look at that. Look at how good that is. I did not do that. I was already like that when I got it dug because it was just off to the side. 1907. How glorious is that? That's in really good nick. Would not surprise me with the age of this uh, dwelling site if it wasn't dropped soon after uh, it was handed out. That's glorious. We go backwards gently. It still does that kick. But yep, that's pretty good. The new digger down there. Got a thrippence to its name on the first use. On the first foray. That's brilliant. Let's see if we can get some more. There you go. <laughs> we'll film this. It doesn't get much more Australian than that, I tell you. Signal beside a cow pat. That's a nice one too. It's just in around there. Alright, let's stop mucking around. We'll have a go with the new digger. I'm finding that it's good to be digging that way. And you can stand on the <laughs> stand on the bugger if you if you uh, get your balance right. You don't stand on your detector while you're doing it. all the rocks down there. Alright, up she comes. Yeah. Sounds like it's pretty sharp. Now, what have we got? We've got another silver. Oh, 
There it is. There it is. What is it? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Bloody hell. Now, this is what I love. This is what I absolutely love. Look at this. Glorious. Big paddock. Massive paddock. It's a great paddock. And then we've been where there's the... I reckon that's been the dairy. I'm finding a lot of ho or the, uh, horse bloody area stalls. I've got bloody robes and rivets and leather and, and there's a peppercorn tree and there's been a house there. And in the middle of all of this great land, some silly buggers playing with a six inch coil and pulling out thrippences. <laughs> oh, you gotta love that. Let's have a clean up and we'll see what we've got. Look at this. Talk about Eddie coming out to play. There he is again. And it's his twin I've got because I don't know whether you'll be able to see it there. Let's do that. 1907. It does say 1907, doesn't it? Yeah. 1907, another one. That one's had a little bit more wear than the other. Oh geez, you know, two 1907 Eddie Thrippences in an afternoon. In fact, less than an hour. The day's really bloody good. And that's what the foot plate's good for too. On the uh, on the new digger, I can use it like that. There you go. Anyway, we will keep going. Oh, well, folks, I think I'm going to call it quits for out here and we'll, we'll wrap this video up. And uh, But great way to finish it off. I've got the new digger there from Tiger Stainless Steel. I'm playing with the old six-inch coil. I might actually have to try and change the settings on this spade uh, just because it seems like the only coins it seems to want to dig up are, in fact, 1907. Eddie Thrippences. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Like I'll, I'll, I'll keep it going for a week or so. See how I, <laughs> see how it all pans out. But um, yeah, it's pretty neat. Works well. Digs up Thrippences. Found with the Thrippence magnet. Life's pretty good. And look at the rays of the afternoon sun there on the on the sheep yards. Crows in the distance doing their they're very Australian uh, crow as they fly off into the distance. Fuck. Anyway, we uh, always good to fill in some day detecting, but remember to fill in all your holes when you're finished. We'll catch you next time.